Your ultimate PlayStation 3 on custom firmware or PS3 hint deserves the ultimate toolbox, and that's exactly what you're going to get in this video. I'll teach you everything it takes to get it installed, up and running on your own PlayStation 3 system in just a matter of minutes. Then we'll take the grand tour together so you can check out all of the benefits that you'll get from installing this ultimate toolbox on your own PlayStation 3 system. Be sure to check the video description for the latest show notes and updates. You'll also find links to products and websites featured in the video. In order to get the ultimate toolbox for your own PlayStation 3, you'll need to download the package file from the Brewology website linked in the description. There's an important different step here in this download process than the usual download process from Brewology. Once you find the link to Ultimate Toolbox, instead of going to the download section, look specifically for a text link shown here to download the package file. If you try to download it from the traditional download link, you'll get a blank file that won't install on your PlayStation 3. Once you have it downloaded, you can insert your FAT32 formatted USB drive into your PC. Then drag and drop the package file directly onto the root of the USB drive. Then you can close out any instances of File Explorer, remove the USB drive from your PC, insert it into the rightmost USB port on your PS3, and power on your PS3. If you're using a PS3 with PS3 HEN, go ahead and launch PS3 HEN now. From your PS3 running PS3 Custom Firmware or PS3 HEN, navigate in the Games tab up to the Package Manager. Select Package Manager with the X button, and from the list of choices, use the D-pad to scroll down to Install Package Files, and select it with X. Inside this menu option, use the D-pad to scroll down until you get to Standard, and select it with X. From here, you'll find the Install Package file for the Ultimate Toolbox. Select it with the X button to install it to your PlayStation 3 system. This process is zinging by pretty fast on video, but in real time this actually takes several minutes, so be patient with your PlayStation 3 while it completes. Once the installation is complete, press the circle button to go back to the cross media bar. There's an additional step to this process, and if you skip this, it won't work. From the cross media bar in the Games tab, use the D-pad to scroll down until you find the additional install process that the Ultimate Toolbox requires. Press X on the message that says run this to complete the installation. The software will then take care of the rest of the install processes for you automatically. It's important to note that during the process the PlayStation 3 will be restarted, so if you're running a PlayStation 3 on PS3 HEN, you'll need to reactivate HEN before proceeding. With your system restarted, you'll now have the Ultimate Toolbox set up and ready to go. Let's check out what you actually get now that you've got this software installed on your system. The thing that makes this Ultimate Toolbox so great is that all of these functions can be accessed directly from the cross media bar. For example, here are power options that are available to you, such as shutdown, soft reset, hard reset, and advanced power options. Along with these system power options, there's also a great backup utility option series available to you. This series of utilities gives you access to tools like system backup, home folder backup, boot plugins backup, X registry save states, firmware save states, and there's even dump tools available to you here. Next up on the list is a file explorer. And again, what makes this kind of cool is that you can use File Explorer access instead of having to open up a separate piece of software, you can actually see what's on places like your internal hard drive or solid state drive and attach USB media and see their contents right from the cross media bar. For example, I still have that USB drive plugged into the rightmost port of the PlayStation 3. It's listed as Dev USB 000. Press X to drill into your storage media, and you'll find the files and folders that you have listed on them, viewable directly from the cross media bar. Going back to the main menu of the Ultimate Toolbox, when you scroll down, you'll find that there's a listing here to give you more direct control over your firmware settings. Press X to drill in, and you'll find the following options. Toggle Dev Blind, Toggle All Plugins, Toggle Power Options, Package Manager Options, App Home Options, Toggle XIL options, block firmware updates, and you might want to consider this one if you don't want to have your custom firmware overwritten by an official software update by Sony. Toggle the external download plugin, toggle audio to the headset, you can allow external cold boot audio, show your IP address on the cross media bar, access HEN options for HEN based systems, access Cobra options for Cobra based systems, and access the PS2 NetEMU selector. 
Back at the main menu for the Ultimate Toolbox, let's check out the Content Downloader. Here you can grab demo content for PS1, PS2, and PS3 games, grab content from PlayStation Magazine, download content from PlayStation Blogcast, and even grab official PS3 update.pub files directly to your PS3. Back at the main menu for the PS3 Ultimate Toolbox, you've got access to a professional version of the Package Manager. From here, you'll get access to tools that will let you view your package files, install package files directly from here in the cross media bar, delete package files, and you can even manage the bubbles from your downloaded content. One of the nice things about a modded PlayStation 3 is that you can manage the look and feel of it, and the visual customization options inside this ultimate toolbox give you lots of ways to do that. You can customize themes and wallpapers, your cold boot logo options, your cold boot sound options, background wave options, system font options, Gaia visualization options, Canyon visualization options, game boot options, screensaver options, impose mod options, blur effect options, cross media bar icon effects, overall cross media bar size, upgrade system icons, and there's even a pixel art viewer option. Next up on the list is a set of tools for the built-in applications. This tool is specifically meant to let you install package files from a very specific directory associated with the Ultimate Toolbox set. And there's even a section called the Ultimate Toolbox Setup, which gives you access to components, upgrades, and information for all of the modules within the Ultimate Toolbox set. Here you can make modifications on a component basis, manage your add-on modules, get resources for Webman Mod, read the About section, and reinstall the entire program if necessary. And if you've never heard of Webman Mod before, your PlayStation 3 needs it right now. Check out this video shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below to get it.